Welcome to the vlog everybody. So last week we tried to put down the tile in the bathroom downstairs and we weren't able to do it because the primer had not dried yet. So it should be dry now and we're going to go try to put down all of the tile. First I need to do a chalk line to make sure that everything's going to be lined up correctly so I'm going to do that and then we're going to put down the tile and I'm going to try to see if I can't get some cool footage of us putting it down. So let's go down there and put down some tile.
Okay, so all of that tile is down. So next thing we have to do is a little bit of patchwork on the tile, and then we have to put the baseboard down. And then the only thing we have left is to put the toilet back in and clean everything up, and we're done, finally, with this bathroom. So I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of the tile being down, which you could already see in the first part of this video. But I'm going to wait till the baseboard's down to give it like a huge, big, I guess, reveal type of thing, even though you've seen most of it. But we'll give a little sneak peek of exactly what the tile looks like up close. And then i got to get the baseboard down probably in the next couple of days. And then it's finally done. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the tile. It is down, and it is looking good. So the only thing we have, like I said before, left to do is put baseboard down around all the edges, put the toilet back in, and pretty much put up a few decorations in here, and then we're done. Now that we've done that, we're going to get some ice cream to celebrate, because we deserve it. So now that tile is done, we need to put the baseboard down like I was saying. We've got some peel and stick baseboard too, and you have to actually bend the bottom of it to fit. So if I guess if you need a different fit, it's a little bit more universal than if you just bought regular baseboard that just has it already bent to where it needs to fit. So Caitlin is bending it right now. We're gonna start, we have to cut little V shapes in corners that have to go in. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna stick it all around the bathroom. So let's go see how this part goes. The tile went well, so hopefully this will go well too. So I started looking back and editing the footage of us putting down the baseboard, and none of it was good. It was all boring. It was actually pretty quick, so there wasn't a lot to it. Instead, I'll just show you guys the finished product of everything. So we've got the baseboard is down now. That's another story in its own. Um, we've got new mat new shower curtain these are just a towel holder paper uh, toilet paper holder and a hand towel holder the other thing we have over here is a shelf with a small cabinet in it that caitlin actually painted that blue color it's the same blue color that's right out there so you've seen it before but more on the baseboard so initially i said my review of peel and stick baseboard was like a two out of ten it's an absolute zero out of ten now. It was terrible. So I stuck everything down, and I came back the next morning, and all of it had fallen off the walls. Every inch of it fell off the walls. So I tried to stick it back on, and it just wouldn't stick. So what I ended up doing was I just, honestly, I drove nails through part of it, and other parts I couldn't because there was concrete or tile behind it. So that part I just had to crazy glue on. So in reality, I did just as much work if not more than I would have with just regular baseboard. So I don't recommend the vinyl peel and stick baseboard. Peel and stick tile, still great. Peel and stick baseboard, terrible. But it's done, I'm happy with it, it looks great, and I just don't have to deal with it anymore, which is awesome. But now, we've got housewarming party coming up this weekend, and our house is an absolute wreck. So we have to clean the basement, the living room some, the kitchen, and clean out the garage some so we have enough room for parking because we have people coming in from out of town. So I guess let's start cleaning. Okay, so like I said, we have to clean everything. So instead of doing long time lapses because there's only so many of those you can do in a video before they get super boring, um, we're just gonna use some magic. So that side's done for the most part. We just have to vacuum, but we're not gonna finish doing that all tonight just because we mainly want to get all the big stuff cleaned up is our main thing and then tomorrow we're going to come back through and vacuum everything so that side is done we're going to move on to the other side of the basement now so most of this side is the pool table and then right in the very 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 back right there that's a pile of boxes so we're gonna to have to get rid of that too so let's go ahead and do the same thing to this side so there it is that side's done too all the boxes are gone, pool table is covered and cleaned. We actually moved a table from one side to the other and put a lamp on it. And we're done with the basement, other than we still have a few things to hang up, but we ran out of command strips to hang things with, so that has to wait till tomorrow. And we need to vacuum. But other than that, basement is done. So now, let's go upstairs. All right guys, so I'm taking a break from cleaning. As you can see, I'm in the Jeep right now. I gotta go get a haircut because man, this looks 
awful. It's getting real shaggy and I don't like it. And I'm gonna have to get the beard trimmed up just a little bit. So right now, I'm gonna head to my barber shop and introduce you guys to my barber, Nick, and get this mop cleaned up. Okay, so guys, got here a little bit early, which is fine. Nick's not here yet. Probably out getting some lunch because it's around lunchtime. So while we're waiting, I'll just grab some B-roll of everything around me. So let's get some B-roll of the outside of the shop. Okay, everyone so back from haircut I tried to get a cool transition of before and after but unfortunately the cheap camera batteries that I bought on Amazon died they don't seem to be reading correctly of telling me what percentage they're actually at it said it had about 50% battery left when I turned on the camera and then it just died on me and then I turned it on and it would keep clicking on and off after 30 seconds to a minute and then eventually it kept flashing the battery so obviously the battery died so i don't know if maybe they don't report what's correct or if they just die that fast but i'll have to look into that a little bit more but now there's a plane outside it's loud. but now that we're back from the haircut and everything looks way better i need to clean the garage so guys like i said gonna clean the garage doesn't look as bad as most of inside did. A lot of stuff honestly just needs to be put away and moved off to the side and then that way we can pull a vehicle in here. So let's go ahead clean the garage right. All right so garage cleaned. Well sort of mostly just shoved things off to the side and consolidated some stuff. So but we can fit a car in here now which is the purpose since we're gonna have multiple people coming from out of town we needed to have as much of the driveway free as possible. So we're gonna stick Caitlin's Jeep in here, and I'm gonna stay parked in the back of everything since I'll probably drive for most of the people that are coming from out of town if we go anywhere. So that's done. Now, one last thing to clean, which is the kitchen. So let's go do that, and then we gotta finish decorating a little bit, which is a little bit more fun than cleaning. So let's get this cleaning over with. All right, like I said, kitchen's the only thing left, which pretty much consists of a lot of stuff on the table that needs to be put away as far as tools, some boxes, and a little bit of stuff on the counter. So there's not a lot left to do in this one, just mostly need to move stuff. So let's go ahead and move all that junk right now. Kitchen done. All right, so done with the kitchen. Our first out of town guest has arrived. So I'm gonna stop vlogging for a little bit, hang out with him and try to decorate some of the house. Okay guys, so we just got back from going out to dinner and a local brewery that my friend had never been to before. And I thought about taking the camera with me, but then I thought I would just hang out, catch up with my friend who I hadn't seen in a while. It's actually been over a year since I think I've seen him, so it was a good time to hang out, catch up, instead of taking the camera and just having it shoved in his face or around us the whole time and dealing with it. So, guys, we're done for the night. Nothing else is going to go on. I'm going to go ahead and call it a video this week. So, as always, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like, or check out some of the old videos. Feel free to follow me on social media usually down below and I'll see you guys next week for your next vlog.